hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so surprisingly yet again for the second month in a row kabam zero is surprising us with some more quality of life improvements and i know no matter what i say in this video there's immediately gonna be some very sad little person going down to comment section going like yeah we don't care about any of these things just fix the game or what does it this doesn't matter that doesn't matter only things that i care about matter well here is like the new slash Again, if Kabam does something that I do find inadequate, I will call them out on it. And if they do something that I do like and approve, I will praise them for it. Obviously, the game has many issues right now happening to it. But it's important to understand that just like when hospital gets busy, you don't ask the janitor to help out with a heart surgery. You do not ask somebody who deals with this type of stuff, like quality of life improvements, to sort out your input issues. That is to say, those are different people in the company doing different things. And if one department is obviously clearly lagging behind, another department is doing well, I don't think, you know, that new ones doesn't matter in these situations. And again, yes, there are definitely plenty of issues that are more important than these quality of life improvements, but that absolutely does not stop me from, you know, being happy for quality of life improvements coming. So let's cover them. Kabam zero. Well, first of all, they are adding six, sort by SIG ability, which is kind of neat sometimes. I don't think I'd use it this all that often. For the most part, you kind of know your roster thereabout, and it's not that hard to check, but, you know, fair game. If you want to, you can use this. Uh, better rank up gem use now. Uh, just like SIG stones, it will take you to a HUD that shows you exactly which champions you can use this rank up gem on now, which is something that I really all the time disliked about these rank up gems, where use a rank up gem and then it just brings you to all the champions that, you know, can be ranked, whether they are, you know, eligible for the gem or not. So that change is quite neat, but again, I don't get that many rank up gems for this to be a huge, huge thing. Sig ability sorting, uh, sure, why not? But uh, he, this is a cool change for Alliance War attack it's going to be showing how many attack bonuses were remaining and that means that uh you will not have to necessarily report your death everybody's going to be able to see it at a glance and i do like it i do like it a lot it always kind of felt incomplete uh in a game where you know who died <laughs> you can, sometimes you know and if the person doesn't fess up then you know you pretty much have to ask either opponents or you know you never really know uh, obviously, at top tier alliances, it isn't really an issue, but at lower alliances, it'll definitely kind of demonstrate uh, better, I think. And I would also like for Kabam eventually to kind of have some sort of historical war stat performances in alliance wise, in like a table or something like that. Maybe that is too much to ask, but I would love to see, you know, overall how many deaths are given to what champions on what nodes, you know, and stuff like that, and have that in game. Uh, there's quite a lot that, you know, people like to analyze and take a look at their performances of Alliance Wars. And Kabam definitely kind of can lean into it a bit more. Now, this thing I do like a lot, though. Stash count visual visualization. And uh, this is a very big thing because, you know, with many items, whether you have, you know, specific items full or not, it's never an issue, really, especially considering the minuscule caps that you, for instance, hold on tier 2 alpha, you know, the fact that you have 20 or tier 2 alphas in your inventory means absolutely nothing because, you know, one rank up, one six star from rank one to rank three, and it's going to be down to five. And many of us often have a lot of items or catalysts in overflow, and then it's quite annoying to kind of scroll down and count them all the time. Now, the fact that they are going to be showing exactly how many you have in inventory and how many do you have in stash again just makes it so much more clear and so much easier so this is in my opinion kind of like a definition of a nice good quality of life improvement uh, that's simple yet very very useful but also there is going to be a difference now with buff node info screen overhaul and i love this for several reasons so first of all they are going to make this node screen kind of wider when you take a look at it and that's fine that's good because obviously we have been dealing with you know 15 nodes on a single fight and some of those nodes have a really really long text and just giving kind of them more space 
you can have more nodes in a single screenshot or at, at a single glance. You don't need to scroll as much. It's kind of handy. But the biggest thing that I like with this change, they also are putting defender abilities now when you tap on a node. And this was one of the things that often kind of irritated me because you couldn't view the champion's abilities from a distance before. You had to be there at the fight enter pre-fight screen and then select the abilities if you wanted to know the particular abilities of that champion. Now you can genuinely just take a look at any champion's abilities anywhere on the map that you can see. And that is quite a big change. And a lot of people are going to underplay this and don't think much of it, but it is genuinely helpful and it will be even more so helpful whenever we are going to be dealing with uh, some sort of new content or new Everest type of content, like then we are going to be able to, you know, see these abilities kind of like in advance without having to actually get to those fights and use the energy. And uh, yeah, I do like this thing, this thing a lot. I think it's very helpful, useful, handy, and uh, it's it is going to make it kind of easier. On top of that, this top screen is kind of nice. I like it. It's going to make for some good thumbnail material as well for me and stuff like that. I like this one a lot. But again, uh, even from a you know, position of alliance war here, for instance, uh, when you check opponent's defense, you can't see the SIG levels of their champions typically until you actually get to that champion. But now you will be able to check whether you know that thing that you need to face is high sig or low sig, whether that Nick Fury is high sig or low sig. And often it makes a very big difference whether, you know, one offensive solution does work or it gives you an indication of how tough that fight is going to be. So again, for purposes of like Alliance War and a bunch of other fights, I do think that this is much more of a significant change and addition. Uh, it's kind of like an extra ability that we do have now. Previously, we could not know the details like that in advance now we can and it does help us out making our decisions entering these quests love that overall that is it pretty much for now <clears throat> again it's nothing you know groundbreaking i would say uh this is nice easier to see how many items you have in stash obviously that's handy this is handy for mainly alliance leadership uh, sorting by sig levels and stuff like that you know don't think I'm going to use it that much. But this last thing where you have wider screen for nodes and you can just, you know, fit more nodes in the same screen without needing to scroll is definitely going to be convenient. But also that you can see the defender's abilities from distance now, I think, is the biggest thing that I genuinely look forward to having access to. So let's uh, say a huge thank you to Kabam Zero. I wish everybody in Kabam would do as fine of a job as this young gentleman. And let me know what you guys think, which are the quality of life changes that are you are looking forward to the most. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about